some days I fail to wake her. Normally after the world tries to break her, she just lays there, stays there, partly aware of my stare, but partly departed to elsewhere, and I have to shake free of my edge to shake her. It's not what she needs, just a symptom of my care as I try to share in her nightmare. No, instead I just stroke her hair. Tried to calm this werewolf engulfed there, but probably managing fuck all. She, as if to stave away the end of days, rolls in her duvet. An apocalypse eclipsed with sheets in the way, then struggles to raise with claws made of clay, pauses to say, ow, and then falls to the hay. Heavy with inability to even breathe, her lungs are flightless, there's no air left in her atrium, it's true, she's broken. Every joint is swollen, she gone freezing to frozen, she's grieving for freedom, stolen half human half golem, she gives in. Too weak to be dealing with the weak, she's only one day into, these days are my Everest. And I am climbing, when I see her turn, full bloom against the rocks, and it knocks these words from my chest. I would take every beast in your body, every cell into myself, if it would give me one day in the clouds where I see you peeking. You are a bed-bound explosion, bleeding light from your pillow fort, arcing energy from your Faraday mattress. It can't contain you. You are a knight riding in on the day, sword to the sullen slaying the monsters under our heads. This four-post cast was a battleground. You battle-born, battered a massive rule here. You own this war. It's yours. You ride across my sky, casting aside storm clouds. There is no black in our blue, no pain in our bruise, rumbles run scared, the thunder sunders, white horses flee your chariot, whip with pillow fights and feathers flying, these days where I can't wake you. They break me, cast me down, leave me drowning like tar, pour from your battlements or a phone lost down the headboard. But you... You find me, carry me to safety, text me back into myself for the dream brand across my chest that melts into my breastplate and gives me hope, armour, together, back to back we make our stand on bed springs, face to face the siege and every day we breach them and every day we live, it's why my definition of the word strong begins and ends with a picture of you here, joints swollen, brain fogged, unable to move and cradling me and reading poetry. Because I wasn't strong enough to face the thought of another day. So please, read my dictionary. Face the dawn with me. I know by now our wounds tessellate. But let's compare our scars. <laughs>